For the longest time, Instagram only allowed its users to have one link in their bio, and that's why LinkedIn bio services popped up. But these can quickly become costly and are not that flexible. And now that Instagram is rolling out their five links in bio feature, you may be wondering, do I even still need this? Well, in this video, not only will I share with you five reasons you do, but I'll also share with you an alternative solution. Hello, I'm Kay from the Astro team, and in this video, I'm excited to share with you seven new starter templates that will help you create your very own LinkedIn bio page in no time. So first of all, let's take a look at those seven new starter templates. So later in this video, we'll go deeper about how to set up your very own DIY LinkedIn bio page. But for the time being, let's take a look at those seven starter templates. And the first one is called Alexandrina Kennedy. And as you can see, it's got a super modern design. It looks more like a girly design, but all you need to do is change the colors. And I will show you later in this video how you can change some of the elements, not specifically for this one, but just in general. Now you probably want to use your LinkedIn bio page to link from Instagram or out of mobile app. So more than likely it's going to be used on the mobile browser. But that being said, you also get the desktop version and the tablet version, of course, with the starter template. Now, the next link in bio starter template is called Ursula Jones. And as you can see, it has a different design, which is more rounded and it may suit you better as a starting point. And this is what the desktop version looks like. Clean, modern and to the point. Next, we have the Emily Smith link in bio starter template for yet another style. And here is the desktop version. Next, the Kate Stone LinkedIn bio starter template. And as you can see, it uses more visuals. So you have to scroll a little bit, but the visuals really add to it. And of course, here is the desktop version with a masonry style. Next, we got the local bakery LinkedIn bio starter template for yet another style. And here is the desktop version for a super clean and organized style. Next, we have the Adam Hoffman LinkedIn bio starter template with a darker and more square design. And here is the desktop version and it's super clean design. Next, we have the Joe and Thomas LinkedIn bio starter template. As you can see, it looks super professional, but super creative at the same time. And here is the desktop version. And as I hover over the elements, as you can see, the hover state changes. So later in this video, I will show you how to make some changes. So for example, if I wanted to change this picture, like you see here on screen, or if you want to change the hover state, like you see right here. So, when Instagram only allowed one link in bio, the advantages of having a link in bio page were obvious. You could work around the limitation and have as many links as you wanted. But now that Instagram is allowing five links in the bio, do you still even need a link in bio page? So I told you at the beginning of this video that I would give you five reasons. So let's get started. And the first reason is just that it's not just for Instagram because different platforms have different rules. So for Instagram, for example, it used to be one link in bio until they decided it's going to be five. Fine. But what about the other platforms like TikTok, Pinterest, or Twitter? See, with your link in bio page, you can really use it on all different platforms. And even when they change the rules, they change the game, you can still stick to your link in bio page and have as many links as you want and some other advantages we're going to talk about. And the next advantage is obvious. You can get more than five links. Like with this link in bio starter template, for example, you get your website, your affiliate link, contacts, your travel blog, YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter. Whereas on Instagram, okay, you're getting the five links now, but what if you need six or seven? You need to wait maybe a few years for them to roll out new features, additional links, and so on. And the next benefit is all about your branding and the visuals you're going to be using. Because once again, on every platform, and here we're talking about Instagram, you're going to have to use their rules, their design. So we're just going to put your link in there and maybe you can put some emojis, but that's about it. You can't really control how you want things to look. Whereas with LinkedIn bio pages, you have more control on the branding. And depending on which system you use, you may be able to totally customize it. Like what you see here is a starter template and you can totally customize it. You can change the colors, you can change uh, the roundness of the buttons, you can change everything. Next, LinkedIn bio pages are better for SEO or search engine optimization. If you do a quick search on Google, you'll find out that an Instagram LinkedIn bio page can do wonders for your SEO, but with a twist, because that page has to be on your own website. But when you do have it on your own website, it can really increase organic traffic. Next benefit of LinkedIn bio pages, 
analytics because with one link allowed in the bio for years and now even with five links in the bio the amount of data you can get and actually analyze is limited whereas with link in bio pages as we mentioned you can have more links but not only that you could have more interactions you could add conversion trackers basically you can track everything so as you can see even with instagram allowing five links in the bio the advantages of having your own link in bio page are numerous next link in bio page services so as mentioned with instagram and other platforms only allowing for one link in bio for years services like linktree had to pop up and while linktree and similar services solve an obvious problem they come with some drawbacks and the first one is the pricing now companies need to make money and it's totally fair you want a service you pay for it and it's even great that they have a free plan in the first place but that being said, some of the features that you do want in a link in bio page are behind a paywall and sometimes even the smallest features. So you will need to pay anyway if you want the real thing. Now, as they recommend, the pro plan is the plan to go with and it's $9 per month, so $108 per year. Now, if we compare this with the solution I'm going to outline in a moment, all you have to pay is your web hosting and domain. And it starts at $3.99 per month. So that's about 48 bucks per year and cherry on the cake with that solution that costs less than half the price of linktree's pro plan you can actually achieve much much more but more about that in a moment next drawback branding because while linktree is a step up from instagram's branding and they come with some nice designs but still you are depending on their design orientation their creations and even though you can change a lot of things you don't have total control next drawback less time spent on your website because instead of being on your website which is pretty important if you do retargeting remarketing basically if you do ads instead of being on your website your visitors are going to be on linktree's website sure they'll see your links but still they will be on linktree's website not on yours next drawback seo or search engine optimization i mentioned earlier that a link in bio page can increase the organic traffic but a quick Google search reveals that using Linktree or similar tools can hurt the long-term SEO of your website. Clicks from social media directly to your website are great for your SEO. However, clicks to Linktree and then to your website will do absolutely nothing to help your SEO. Next drawback, analytics. Because while Linktree comes with analytics, what well, the first problem is that some of the features you only get in the top plan, like Exporting data is in the premium plan, which is not $9 per month, but $24 per month. And the second problem with Linktree or similar services is that the data is really isolated. Plus, what happens when you leave those companies? What happens to the data? Whereas with a platform like Google Analytics, or there are some other platforms, but the big one is Google Analytics. It's cross-platform, cross-systems. Now, I told you I would show you a better solution. So let's do this. And let's start by looking at what the solution is made of. So first of all, we need web hosting and a domain name. Well, if you already have a website, the good news is that there's no extra cost. The solution I'm going to outline, you can use it for free, completely free. But in case you don't have a website yet, then you can go to SiteGround and the plans start at $3.99 per month. Next, we will need a free software called WordPress. You probably knew it, but WordPress powers more than 40% of all websites across the globe. Now, in order to display the content of a website, WordPress uses a system of visual themes. There are thousands of them, but the one we'll be using today is called Astra. Astra is a fast, lightweight, and highly customizable WordPress theme. It's got more than 2 million installs and it's used by brands like Stanford University, NASA, and Google, just to name a few. Now, Astra comes with a library of demos that you can install in just a few clicks. That is called Starter Templates. And this is where we'll take our link in bio from. And the last piece of the puzzle is the page builder because with the page builder we can edit the content without any coding now it may look like a lot of components but it's actually ridiculously easy let me show you now if you already have a wordpress website just go to the wordpress admin dashboard but if you don't most web hosting companies let you install wordpress in just a couple of clicks then you want to go to appearance themes click on add new locate the astra theme or look for it in the search bar and once you've identified the Astra team, click on install and then activate. Next, you get a prompt to install starter templates. But in case you lose this prompt, just go to Astra dashboard, then click on starter templates 
and click on install and activate. Next, click on build your website now and choose your page builder. As mentioned for this video, we'll be using Elementor. Next, in the search field, I'm going to type bio and these are the LinkedIn bio templates. And I like this one. So let me click on it. I'm going to click on skip and continue. So here I can change the color palette. I can change the fonts, but I actually like the default ones. So I'm just going to click on continue. And here before clicking on submit and build my website, you may want to fill in this form if you want to help the Astro team to serve you even better in the future. Next, click on the button and sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. Congratulations, your website is ready and it took just 14 seconds to build. For real. Next, you can of course click to tweet your achievement and then click on view your website. And there you go. In just a few clicks, you have your LinkedIn bio page ready. Now, if you already have a website, you may just want to import the LinkedIn bio starter template to a new page. And in that case, you want to go to pages, add new. We're going to call this page, my new page, publish it. Then click on edit with Elementor. Click on the starter templates icon, then type the name of the template or you can just scroll and it's this one here. Next, click on import template and there you go. And don't forget to click on update. Now, since it's a link in bio page, you may want to get rid of the header and the footer. So for that, you want to click on the gear icon for the settings. Then for the page layout, you want to choose Elementor canvas and there you go. And once again, click on update. So now if you go to the front end of our website and click on my new page, we land on our link in bio page. And next we can start editing the content to reflect our own content. Now, if you want to edit this page, you can either go back to the dashboard, then you want to go to pages, all pages, then identify the page that you want to edit, hover over its name, and then click on edit with Elementor. Or even better, while logged in as an administrator, you will notice the toolbar on top. So just click on edit with Elementor. And here you can start editing. So here I can double click on the text. I'm going to change this to K. I can hover over the elements that I want to change and then I click on it. So for example here, if I want to change this column because I want to change the image and more than likely it's the background of the column. So with the column selected and in case you have doubts, you can always look at the navigator and take a look at the structure here. So with the column selected, I'm going to go to the style tab and here is my image. So let me click on it so I can change this image. So I can either choose an image from the media library or I can upload a file, which is what I'm going to do. So click on select files or you can just drag and drop it on the window. I'm going to pick that one, click on open and select. Now, as you can see here, when I hover over this block, I see a hover image. So let's change this. So let me select my column by clicking on the column icon. Then once again, I want to go to the style tab and here you want to click on the hover tab. And once again, let's choose a different image. Let's go to upload files. Let me pick this one, click on open, select. And now when I hover over this block, as you can see, the changes are reflected. Next, let's click on this title here. And then here in the left panel, you can change the link. So let me remove this and let me paste a URL. Just for the sake of this tutorial, we'll link to google.com. Next, click on update. And now if you go back to the front end of the website and let's refresh, and there you go, changes are reflected. And then when I hover over this block here, you can see the image that we chose. And if I click on visit my website, there you go. It linked to where it was supposed to. Okay, so let's take a look at the mobile version, which more than likely is the version that most people will see when they click on the link in bio page. But hey, you never know, and you can totally use it on the desktop too. So here, as you saw, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to make some changes, and you can pretty much link to anywhere you want. All you need is a link. You can change the colors, you can change the images, you can completely change the branding. And that's super important because Basically, you get all the advantages of services like Linktree, but you don't get the drawbacks because you can really tailor it to your brand to exactly what you want. So as a quick recap, here are the benefits of using a do-it-yourself solution as I just outlined. Well, first of all, it's economical. We saw it, but if you already have your website, you have nothing to pay because you can use Astra for free, you can use the starter templates for free, and you can use the page builders for free also. 
And in case you don't have a website, then we saw that for 48 bucks per year, you get your hosting and your domain. And if you compare this to the pro plan in Linktree, it was $108. And I'm not just talking about Linktree, there are other services and you know, with various prices, but usually it's gonna be way more economical with the solution I'll outline. Next, your branding, it's your branding. You do what you want with it. You choose your colors, you choose whether you want round shape, square shape, uh, crazy shape, you do whatever you want. And that's the beauty of it because you know your branding might evolve over time and some of these platforms can really limit you. Next, people spend more time on your website because if the link in bio page is already on your website, then it's more time. And if you're gonna use retargeting or remarketing, so if you do ads online, it's super, super important. Next, SEO, for the same reasons, the links are gonna come out of your website. So that's gonna be pretty good for SEO and they don't come out of a platform like Linktree or some other platform. Like we saw, when it comes straight from social media to your website, it's good, but if it goes through a middleman, that's not good. But if it goes on your website, that's good. Next, analytics. Now we saw it previously, but some of these platforms really limit you when it comes to analytics. And when you leave them, you don't know what's gonna happen. Whereas here, you can just install Google Analytics and you're pretty much set. So I hope that you now have a better idea of why to use a link in bio page and why to use a do-it-yourself solution with WordPress and the solution I outlined with Astra and the starter templates that you can find on our website for free. Yes, I said for free. Now question, do you use a link in bio page? And if not, why not? Please let us know in the comments below.